got you here again today with some more super cool, fun stuff in the game, Heroes of the Storm. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, that was an interesting intro. <laughs> hey, so we have Zuljan on deck today, who happens to find himself as the latest addition to the Hot Shots. That's right. He is actually ranked like third overall in, in uh, those above 10% popularity and win rates. So he is actually performing extremely well. Um, he had a rework a long time ago, and I don't play him much. And so I took him for a spin, and I might have fell, fallen in love. I may have just found uh, my Heroes of the Storm love child, or soulmate. <laughs> Whatever it is, anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go through all of his talents and abilities and some amazing, exciting gameplay action from start to finish. We'll see you on the other side. Here we go Let's into go the Cursed Hollow. That's right, the uh, Raven Lord, man. This is the one that the comic series is about, the guy, anyway. Anyway, if you haven't checked that out, I do have videos about the comics and will continue to do so, where I kind of narrate them and do, um, you know, different voices or whatever, using the pitch modifier for female voices, stuff like that. Anyway, it's fun. It's pretty fun. So, Zul'jin, man, I don't think, if I recall correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I have a Zul'jin video on my channel, and that's because I don't play Zul'jin. However, Zul'jin has climbed into the top of the win rates and earned himself a spot in the Hot Shots. That's right. This is the series where we're going to have... Uh-oh. I got hooked. Run, baby! Can I dodge it? Can I do Oh, get dodged! Get freaking dodged! Hanzo, you don't even want none, man. Okay. That almost killed me. <laughs> But yeah, it's a series that I kind of update here and there as we see heroes performing extremely well in the Nexus. Those that have a higher, or excuse me, a popularity over 10% uh, overall, and then also a win rate at the highest in the game. So um, I think he's actually third at the time of this recording, which is just yesterday or day before. Um, so yeah, he's actually doing extremely well. And I've never played, I mean, I, I haven't played him a lot. I played all the heroes. Um, just not a lot. So the basic attack hero is coming back maybe with the rework of Rainer coming up. Make sure that you stick around the channel if you haven't already subscribed for that. I will go through all of his talents and abilities and rework changes as they become available on the live servers tomorrow. So yeah, we have, or yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Zul'jin is, uh, is a basic attack hero, right? I mean, he obviously has abilities, but by far he is a basic attack hero. And so, what makes him really good? Well, I don't play him a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you that this gameplay um, is going to be amazing for you because we do have an exceptional team, number one. And just uh, learning this hero, I I've, was able to really kind of, I don't know, like feel the flavor of the Zul'jin, man. I mean, I'm solo laning against Thrall here, right? That's one of the good things about Zul'jin. He does have self-sustain, so he can solo lane, although he doesn't have any AoE except for his twin cleaves which you just saw there and they're not exactly easy to hit um you might even try utilizing those on on release quick cast instead of just straight quick cast um i use straight quick cast just because it's what i'm used to oh no get out of here throw but anyway so he's actually really interesting so as i get i'm learning him and, and really enjoying playing him um, I'm learning a lot about him. So a while back, I think it was October of last year. It's been quite a while back, actually. Somehow, all of a sudden, now he's become really good. But um, a while back, he got reworked, man. And they added some things baseline to his kit. For example, you want axe. We're going to just uh, try and zone this out so we can cap this top tribute, hopefully. Hey, Hanzo. Okay, I missed him. Crap. Crap. Hey, let's see, what's, let's see how this fight goes. Now we do have Chogal on the ally team, by the way, I didn't uh, mention that, but we have Chogal along with Ariel, which is a good combo, as you're probably aware. And then we also have a Garrosh tanking for us, so that's good. Alright, we got that one. No problem, that was easy, fantastic. So give them, or you want Axe, every five basic attacks against heroes. Oh, let's see how this goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a tendency just to see how 1v1 fights go when I don't know a hero very well. And, uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't typically go very well. But, uh, we're okay at the moment. Thrall's hurting. We can do so much damage to him, though. 
But yeah, so you want X. That's not his trait, right? We'll talk about what his trait is, but built into his baseline is you want X, which is previously a talent. Every five basic attacks against enemy heroes permanently increases your basic attack damage by one. So you want to basic attack a lot, right? Of course. Yeah, get out of here. He didn't have any mana. So yeah, um, after attacking 75 times, your basic attack range goes up by 1.1. Now the range increase is huge, so you really, really want that. After doing attack, excuse me, after attacking 150 times, your twin cleave, right, your W, now revolves twice. And that actually is amazing. So I love these baseline quests built into heroes, kind of, oh. Don't check the bush, gotcha. Jeez, are you new to this game? All right, they're gonna get this one. No problem. Sitches might give his life for it, though. He's, oh, he was counting on that silence a little too much, but I was able to hit him before he got me inside of it. Now, the cool thing about auto attack heroes is even in the silence, I can still hit him, so that's good, and do uh, be very effective. So yeah, 150 times your twin cleaves revolves twice. That's actually really, really good. Now, what is twin cleave? Well, every 10 seconds for 60 mana, you could throw two axes in a large circular arc. Now, unlike, for example, uh, Phoenix, you can't determine how big or small that arc is. Oh, no. Here's that 1v1 I was talking about. Uh, look at how low I got him, though. <laughs> I could have just ran away. That was stupid. That's okay. It gives me a chance to talk about it while we take a look at uh, middle lane here. We did that, that, don't do that, team. Okay? If you're watching this, don't do what I just did. But, you know, sometimes you got to do that to learn what the hero's capable of. Ariel is able to get out. Fantastic. I'm back up. We're going to move into the tribute, hopefully. Yes, yes. Okay. Now then, twin cleaves. So it's a now the big thing is it does a lot of damage, but then it also applies a slow for two seconds. So it's 15% per axe for two seconds. So if you happen to hit them multiple times, they're going to be very, uh, very slow. And then again with a third rotation or second rotation of that, go ahead and just uh, bob that there hook. What are you going to do? Gives me stitches. I can just kite you, dude. Okay, he finally realized that he got out of there. Oh man. Choke all was doing work, but he did end up dying, unfortunately. The healer wasn't with them, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and just take out all their team here. Man, it's amazing how safe Zul'jin could do damage. I didn't know that before I started playing him recently. He can actually... Oh, good hook on our Ario player. I barely missed it just by accident. I didn't know it was coming, that's for sure. Hopefully he has a heal. Oh, Garrosh with the plays. Saving the healer. Get out of here, Tychus. Boom. Oh, I got him. And then it's, oh, a clutch heal by Ariel, yes, we're able to get out, but I do have to back out now, man, I'm too low. Somebody hit the ball, crap. All right, Hanzo can, like, poke forever, and it does so much damage, so. All right, Chokal's coming back, though. I think we've got it guarded. If he can get in on it, dude, we can just do this. Now, I forgot about my regeneration there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and channel since I'm lowest, let them zone for us, and they have successfully done so. <clears throat> Fantastic, then. That is regeneration, but... Twin cleaves, yeah, so it does a lot of damage and slows them a lot. We'll talk about the talents that we take to increase that as well. I'm going to head down to the bottom lane, take care of this camp. Regeneration is your E. It's a 15-second cooldown, and you're, you channel, right, to regenerate 30% of your maximum health over four seconds. Now, moving or taking damage does interrupt that, um, but it is a really nice ability to just heal yourself up. Now, uh, let's see how this goes. Choose a talent. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Okay, don't come here, actually, that's kind of scared. But, man, it's intimidating when Zildjian starts coming at you with low health, and the reason for that is the other part of his trait, which is Berserker. Hang on just a second. Let's see what Hanzo's going to do here. Want some of this, Hanzo? Okay, okay, maybe he does. Maybe <laughs> maybe he does. We have the uh, tribute up top. He is here still, maybe, so maybe he's not. We're going to leave. But yeah, so passively, Zul'jin attacks 1% faster for every 1% of maximum health missing. So imagine doing a significant amount of damage with every basic attack and then increasing your attack speed considerably uh, as you get lower in health. Chogal goes down early. We are in trouble now. We're gonna go ahead and throw out the Twin Cleave, which is pretty safe damage, but that's not safe. Oh, crap. Dude, Hanzo hopped over. He probably would have killed me anyway, unless I dodged his stuff. But uh, the clutch hook there did take me out. No big deal, man. No big deal. We're going to get back into this in a moment. But yeah, so you, that's what I'm saying. When you're talking about 
lower health and you're charging at somebody, if they can't kite you and get far, far enough away from you, then, uh, yeah, it's a little intimidating because... What you, oh, no. What are you, oh, no. Oh, that was a bad idea, dude. <laughs> Tychus can just melt you. It was close, though. It was close. It was very close. We got three in the top. Just Ariel. Let me go ahead and camp here for a minute. She's holding that. All right, they're going to actually leave there, so that's really good for us. Let's take these down pretty quickly. Now, the other part of his trait, right? Three three uh, option, or three things here in his trait. So you got the built-in quest. You got the built-in uh, attack speed increase as you are lower health. But then you also have the ability to activate it. When you activate it, you're going to increase your basic attack damage by 25%, but it's going to hurt you for 2% of your health every second yeah per attack per attack this time. so you can do a lot of damage to yourself if you're not careful as you can see here we're half health quack 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 so it's pretty fast pretty stinky cool i know we've talked a lot about just a couple of things but there is a lot that goes into his trait and just the baseline how he functions but i got news for you that's not all let's take a look at amani rage now this is a 30 second cooldown and you activate it to cause you to instantly lose 50% of your current health and heal for that amount over 10 seconds. Okay, well why would you do that? Well, because you're going to instantly get a boost in your damage, but you're going to get all that health that you just lost back. So that's the idea there. It allows you to be... Oh, wow. Oh, no! Oh, I think that the garage... Oh, a good pull by a people on Chogal does allow us to continue the fight. I'm, I'm just plucking away at the back line as much as I can. Down goes Stitches. Fantastic recovery after losing Garrosh early there. All right, we're going to go ahead and cap. Odin's up, though. That's going to be difficult to do. Let's get in there, man. All right, he's zoning. All right, if he's going to zone, I'm going to go ahead and cap. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. We're going to go in here and kill him then. Come here, Tychus. Oh, he's got the ult going. We're committed now, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Down goes Thrall. I love it. Now, with two of them down, we should be able to complete this, especially since Odin's going to be going away right now. Go ahead and pick this up. That's going to give us tribute, baby. I mean, uh, curse. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, did get, he, he got his slow on me, but no big deal. All right, so we got the top four down with just our minions and mercenaries there. Oh, I was thinking we were going in there as a team. We were not. Oh, no. Leave. Oh no, he got eaten. Oh crap. I baited our healer. Dude, I did half of his health with guillotine. We'll talk about that in just a minute. We're just gonna go ahead and keep pounding on him here. I am low health, so I'm doing a lot of damage really fast. With the clutch pull. Yes, saves my life. Takes down stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up with the regeneration and come back in and try to help him, but it's just not gonna be. Oh, uh, wait, it is! Oh, how did he do that? How? How in the world did Chogall. Just pull out of there alive. That was amazing. I feel bad for killing our healer there. I feel responsible for that death, and I want to apologize. Oni Baku. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's healing in this game. Oh, man. Where's he at? That's all right. There he is. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> all right, so we're going to pluck away at this building. Hopefully try to finish it off. We did not get a lot accomplished with that curse. Uh, so that's okay. We're going to slow him down with our twin cleave. Oh, how did I get on this guy? Let's go back to this guy. Yay. There we go. Demolish. Regenerate a little bit there. i got to remember to use that more often. But yeah, Amani Rage. So it's a 30 second cooldown. You activate it. You're going to lose that health, but you're going to gain it back as a hot over 10 seconds. So it's actually really good, allowing you to get a ton of burst damage. Looks like it's boss time here with the lanes pushed back. They're not going to be able to uh, do much about this, I don't think. Unfortunately, our uh, Ariel got locked down there in the root, but able to heal it up, no problem. Especially with uh, the Hope hat on Chogall, that gives her a lot of uh, hope because they both attribute the um, Hope, I believe. Cho and Gaul both do. That was kind of confusing, but hopefully you understood what I mean. That's the combo, so I'm sure you do. But as you saw there, we used uh, Berserker to increase our damage and by increase our damage attack speed by reducing our health. And we murdered that boss, man. The boss went down super fast. They went ahead and picked up theirs in the top lane, but they're going to have to immediately go down and defend. We should probably just push with ours. But let's go ahead and defend. That's cool. That's cool. Now, all right, we talked about those things. Now then, Amani Rage talked about that. Voodoo Shuffle, I believe that's a talent. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. So that's... Uh, that's the only thing left is Grievous Throw. That's your Q. So every eight seconds, you can chunk out this axe, which, of course, that's what Jildren's all about, right? Axes. So Jildren throws out an axe. 
dealing some damage to the first two enemies hit and marking them for six seconds. Well, the key to that is marked enemies take 50% bonus damage from Zul'jin's next three basic attacks. So you want to chunk that out when you know you're going to be able to get three basic attacks on the uh, hero that you hit with it. Now, it does do some damage, so it's not always bad to use. But if you can capitalize on it in six seconds by dealing that basic attack damage, which, again, we're boosting up through our baseline kit and abilities, uh, yeah, so you're you're seeing the combo here. It's a built-in combo to the hero. It's really fun. Which I guess that's kind of how that'll work. You get the idea, though. Anyway, Grievous, that's uh, that's the base kit there. We're going to go down here and fight for this tribute. All right, we are in position to defend. It's on our side as well, so we should be able to push them back enough, hopefully, to finish this off without them getting cursed. Oh, boy, we got a Tiki Akuto whiffs, though, because he ate our Chogol. Otherwise, that might have killed him. It actually worked out really well that he did that. We got a good fight going on. I'm just in the back line plucking away, uninhibited. Is that what I was looking for? I don't know, but he's dead either way. Tychus and Stitches go down. Looks like uh, Hanzo's thinking he can do something about this. I don't know, though, buddy. You might want to just go ahead and leave at this point. And they do, at least for the moment. <laughs> we're at 154, so we're... Oh, we got the one axe. We got the axe already, sorry. A good Crystal Aegis does allow our... Oh, I was going to say our Garrosh to live, but he did not get out of the silence, unfortunately. But we did get the kill on Thrall, so I'd say it was worth. I'd say it's worth. So, yeah, we're stacked up on U1 Axe. That's nice. Guillotine damage. That's our ultimate of choice in this game. The other option is Tazdingo. And before I tell you about Guillotine, Tazdingo is the one where you click it and you become invulnerable to damage. And you get down really low and you're just doing a crap ton of damage without taking any. And it's very, very scary. However, in my short experience with this hero, it's not super good. It's not super good. Um, Guillotine's on a pretty short cooldown, only 40 seconds. So one of the shorter cooldowns in the game for an ultimate ability. Uh, is it called ultimate or heroic tier? What do you call it? I call it both. <laughs> it depends on what mood I'm in. All right, but yeah, guillotine's pretty cool. So it's 70 mana, 40 second cooldown. You launch a massive axe into the air, and you can see the area all the way around, right? So you can chunk it anywhere on the screen pretty much. And it's going to do a whole bunch of damage plus bonus damage based on your health. So you can see it right there in the little mini uh, icon on the top left, or bottom left. Oh, he chained our Chogol back in. Oh no, he needs a heal. Alright, get out of that, we're good. It looks like we're good. Hey, how's it going there, Hanzo? Oh, that's Thrall. Just trying to do a little bit of a flank here. I'm gonna go ahead and chase this guy down. Come here, boy. Nah, uh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous, but I am able to get out fantastic. Alright. That was close. Now, one thing that I thought was that I got increased attack speed. Or, excuse me, movement speed, but I don't, I don't. Not in the baseline, anyway. A lot of zoning going on here. Maybe a little bit more than zoning as Shogal does his charge into the back line of the enemy, pushed into this bottom keep. I like it. I don't hate it at all. And that double spin on the twin cleave is so good. So good. So stacking that up as early as possible is really good. Now, as you notice, I'm at 170 out of 150, so we can get, continue to get basic attack damage increase even after we complete the quest. Ow. What was that pushback? I got, like, knocked back. That was weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. All right, we got Tribute up top. He might be able to get another curse here after we clear out this camp. And as we do that, I'm going to talk about the Talons. I think I... Oh, yeah, so the guillotine, guillotine damage right here. Current damage is 833 based on my health, which is a little over half. Dude, I actually really like this hero. I hope you can tell in just how I'm talking about it because he's... Man, I had so much fun playing him the other day. Yeah, I'm probably going to be playing him more frequently. Level 1 Headhunter seems to be the go-to. Zul'jin's takedown against each enemy hero permanently increase your damage dealt by 2%. So, again, we're boosting that basic attack damage every time we kill somebody. Now, the cool thing is you don't lose this if you die, similar to, like, Tracer's ability or talent. Um, in addition to this, after getting takedowns on every enemy hero, your basic attack range, again, is increased by 1.1. Remember, we're increasing the range as well on the baseline of our kit, too. That guy's going to die, so I'm going to... He might not die, actually. That's okay. He's pushed off enough. We're going to take out Tychus at the moment. It's good. It's real good. I bet he don't come this way. He's going to have to go all the way around that way. Our hearth. Uh, 
Thrall's ultimate does do a little bit of damage, pushes us off the point slightly. But as you, oh, a good upheaval does pull him back into the enemy team, and I missed my using crap. But I'm able to finish him off. No big deal. No big deal. I have um, I have one health. <laughs> I had like one health, man, because I was using Berserker. My bad. Choose Gotta remember to turn that off. I don't think it'll kill you though. Keep I don't think it'll kill you, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Is he gonna eat her? Oh, he did. We're gonna slow him down though. We're gonna do a lot of damage to him really fast right here, actually. Yeah. She gets thrown out by Garrosh. Fantastic play by Garrosh. Oh, he does go down. Fantastic job. Uh, by the Cho player there. Or was it Gaul, rather? Completing that kill. Oh, he's got the ultimate going. Oh no. What's it gonna be? Um, Let's just murder rate them all, man. All right, this game's gonna be over quickly. I need to talk about the talents. Headhunter, that's really nice. Boosting your damage. Voodoo Shuffle, you passively lower the cooldown of mana and mana cost for your regeneration is your E. And you can also activate it to remove roots and slows, which is really nice, actually. Arcanite Axes, your twin cleave damage is permanently increased 0.75 every time it hits a hero. That's amazing. So in, especially on top of the basic attack damage, you're adding your ability damage, heck yeah. Lacerate at level 13 increases the slow amount of each twin uh, glaive, twin cleave rather. And then uh, let's take a look on the other side here for level 16 MVP. talents. A great game here. Did it pull down MVP with best in game hero damage, or excuse me, uh, XP contribution and siege damage. Seven kills, nine assists, two deaths. It was a good game, I do say. Uh, pulled up 66,000 hero damage, 106,000 siege damage. That's an assassin, and I did double the amount of siege damage as everybody else on the board. That's pretty impressive. Not saying me, I'm just saying the hero. Um, I've been imp impressed with them, so very good stuff. The last two talents, you increase that slow by an additional 10%. That's very debilitating. And then 16, wrong place, wrong time. If an enemy is hit by both twin cleave axes at the same time, they take an additional damage, uh, um, excuse me, additional damage and count as five heroes hit if you want for you want axe so if you haven't quite finished that then that will be helpful and beneficial to do so and then buzzsaw just makes your guillotine uh 75 percent damage to enemies hit excuse me yeah so it continues forward it like goes on the ground turns into a saw and then like a straight line it's pretty pretty fun <laughs> if a hero is killed by guillotine zildjian is instantly healed to full is a nice little perk to that as well. Although I didn't get to experience that. But I'm going to be playing some more Zul'jin, man. Don't forget to let me know what you think of him in the comment section below. I'm very impressed and I'm curious to know what you think. But he's definitely in the hot shots. We'll see you next time. Peace out.